Hello everyone, I am Shyam Pasari and welcome to ASIN Academy. This video is a doubt video and it was sent by a student for the CAT exam. As you can see, the question is on the board and the question says that if a number n is squared to give a value s, then the minimum value of n plus s would happen when n is and we are given four options a minus 0.3, b minus 0.5, c minus 0.7 and d none of the values. So I would like you to first solve the question by yourself and then come back for the solution. So let us first write down the points that we were given. So we were given that we have a number n and the number is squared to give a value of s. So I can say that n square is equal to s and we have to find at what value of n the value of n plus s would be minimum. So first we should talk about the approach of this problem. The most important thing for solving a question in any competitive exam is your approach. If your approach is correct and you do the calculations correctly, then you will definitely solve the question. So for the given question, we have to find what is the minimum value of n plus s. Now we are given that n square is equal to s. So in place of s, I can write as n square. So we have to find what is the minimum value of n plus n square. Now over here, we have a single equation in the terms of n. Now we can apply the rule of minima and maxima. So we can equate this equation to zero and then differentiate it. So upon equating this equation to zero, we'll get n plus n square is equal to zero. Now we will differentiate both the sides with respect to n and we will get, upon differentiating n, we will get one. Upon differentiating n square, we will get two n and zero is a constant, so we'll get zero only. Let's name it equation number one. In equation number one, we are left only with one variable that is n, so we can easily calculate it by equating it. So we'll get two n is equal to minus one, and n is equal to minus one by two, or minus 0.5. Now for confirming that whether this value that we have got is our minima or not, we have to find whether the second derivative is greater than or equal to zero. So upon differentiating this equation, once again, we will get the value as zero. So it is confirmed that this is our minima. So what we did was we converted our equation to a single variable. Then we differentiated our equation to find the value of n. And lastly, to check whether the value that we have got was minimum or not, we differentiated it once again. That was all for this video. And I hope that you understood how I found the approach for solving the question and the solution for the question. Now, if you have any doubt regarding this question or any other question, then you can post your doubts down in the comment section or you can send your doubts to us to our channel's official Instagram or Facebook page and we will surely solve a doubt as soon as possible. I've also provided the link to the official website of Asian Academy down in the description and over there too, you can send your doubts to us. All the links are provided in the description box of this video. And if you did like this video, then please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, Asian Academy.